I didn't know I was on camera. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had a light out here. Oh, that's good. So you're going to do the, the shrimp in a, in a flour bag, huh? I'm going to do that too, yeah. That's, um, had some left over there. So I got the fish. I believe you said you use, use offshore meal? How, yeah, that's right. And you're using uh, Zatarin. Right now, I, I'm using something yeah, called... Z Z Zatarin's. Yeah, I put the fish in that. Because I was out on half the altar. All right, so I'm going to take these shrimp. There's a pile of them right there. Put an egg in them. Stir them up. Sometimes the packaging costs more than eggs, don't it? <laughs> Now that's a big, deep mm -hmm. frying pan. I like that. I've got, I've got some that are that big, but not that deep. Yeah. Buddy, my Santee sells this thing. Oh yeah. I think I'm from Louisiana. That's a. Uh, well, that'd be nice. I'm to fry a good many fish. I'll use well, that. Well, I was going to say that'd be. Well, they weigh ten pounds. <laughs> that'd be a perfect pan for frying chicken. You know it would, and I got a top for them. I got the top for both of them. So I'm um, feeling my heat, but not quite there yet. And shrimp's gonna be a little while. I'm not even. I'm not gonna bread the shrimp until I cook the fish. Okay. So um, shrimp aren't gonna take long. That's a good drink. I like that. That's a maker's mark and. Ginger ale. Yep. So is this uh, the trout or the bass? This is the trout, and I always put the skin, uh, the skin side up. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you flip it? I mean, I put the, um, the meat side down first. Yeah. Do you flip it? Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to in a minute. Okay. I'll flip it one time and take it out. Yeah. And oh. uh, that'll be the fish, and then we're going to shrimp. I think you're going to love these shrimp. Oh. And then well, shrimp myself in about a week or two. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the fish, because we don't get fish very often. I'm cutting this up considerably. This old pan will hold some heat. I've got a bunch, but I don't have one that deep. I, I need to get me one of those. Yeah, that just gets low. It's okay. But... Now, where did you buy? You said you got a friend that sells those? Oh, that's, um, yeah. Let's see what, something called Bite. There it is right here, y'all. Oh. Because I've never even seen oh, one that big. Um, what does it say? Oh, is it bayous? I can't read it. Um, Rotated it around? Yeah. <laughs> can't read it upside down, can we? Yeah, bayou classic. Bayou oh. classic. Got a old alligator on it. Yeah. I got it wide open now. Because I got it down a little bit. 
That's how tall that thing is. It looks to be about four inches. It's taller than that red one. Oh yeah, at least about an inch. About an inch. Yeah. Now you're gonna do shrimp in one and fish another. That red pan is nothing but shrimp. Okay. Fish only. The black pan. Since we're doing both, I put fish in the black pan. Well, this is as good as being at Calabash. Yeah. 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 You ever been to Calabash? I have when I was a kid. <laughs> I ate oysters up there, got a sick one time, and never eat them fish. No. And I, I love them too. Were they steamed or fried? or? They were steamed. You had to shell them out. Yeah. You remember when you were going there, they would have had the, the old tables with the holes in the middle with the, yeah. the bushel baskets underneath. Yeah, I, I wasn't like a teenager. We went yeah. up there. I'd go up there and we'd eat those oysters and I loved them. A couple of times and I must have got some bad ones. Okay. And I got sick. So sick. Yeah. That I've never eaten oysters again. So uh. I, I try them every year. But I just, I've been trying them for 20 years. And I know all my friends love them, you know. Well, that's what we had for dinner last night, oh, the steamed oysters. I see. I noticed the guys out there getting oysters now uh, in the creek. They go two hours full low and they're out by yeah. two hours on the rise. The best oysters are dead low tide where the water comes in them all the time. Well, the guy that owned the fish mart where we were at yesterday said that mm -hmm. the local oysters aren't okay. tasting real good yet. Really? Yeah. He said in a couple of weeks they'll start tasting better when the water gets colder. Colder, I guess so, yeah. So these oysters we had last night were puny. They were about the size of a silver dollar. And uh, they were from, I forget if they were from Rhode Island. or I got two batches, one from Rhode Island, one from Connecticut. I bet they were expensive then. No, they were not any more than the locals. There, uh, you would have thought so. Well, based on size, you're right. They were more expensive based on size because they would have been about that big. You have to shell them or they are? Oh, you fr had them fried. I, no, I steamed them. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I better be cooking or something here. What? Maybe I better. Are you watching? Are you taking, recording him cooking? Yeah, I'm videoing. Am I going to see this on Facebook? <laughs> Uh, you gotta we'll talk about that if you don't want to, I won't. As long as you don't identify. We'll do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, yeah. That's some good looking fish. I've, I've, got, I've got pan envy over here, Debbie. You've got pan envy? I wish you'd take one of those and the lid because I hate both of them. I can't pick them up. You can't pick them up. Well, and I can't put them away and he leaves them sitting out. I told Pat I would handle them if, uh, that I was buying one. said, I don't want them to be too heavy. I said, I'll take care of them. Yeah, well, you probably would. You'd put them up, but he doesn't. Yeah, I do. Well, we've got, we've got separate kitchens now, Debbie. <laughs> She's got her kitchen and I've got mine. <laughs> I'll leave mine, but I figure I'm going to catch more fish. Look at the flower you well, it, what happened was it, it, it got a hole in it. Public Where it wasn't ah. it wasn't sealed on the bottom. Oh my god. And it, we didn't know that. Oh, and he went to shaking it and it went everywhere. Well, that was shaking bake, wasn't it? <laughs> it was shaking bake, alright. I've got a kitchen downstairs in the basement where I do all my canning well, and, and pickling. Yeah, it works out great for Pat. <laughs> I think I'm going to put Harry down in the basement, but we don't have it. Yeah. Well, that's the bad part of living on the coast. You can't, the water table's too high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No basement around here. Yes, ma'am. This is my favorite fish, the winter trout. Well, I'm looking forward to trying it. Big 
at the fish and don't cook them to death. And you say you flipped them once, is that right? I flipped them once. Sometimes I depends on the usually just one time. So they're these are not real thick, you know? Yeah. Oh they're not, oh. These are actually kind of small when it's out. This is one side of one bath. So that's what you want to try, and I, I want to try it too. Now, did, what did you catch these fish on? Did you catch them in a... On shrimp. On shrimp, okay. Live shrimp. So you had a baited hook? Baited it live shrimp. Okay. Yes, sir. So I didn't know if they came up in the net. Live shrimp is all that is to it. That's what they're feeding on now. You can throw mud manners, you can throw mud to them. They want live shrimp. Okay. Every time I clean the trout, he's got live, he's got dead shrimp. Tell me something. When I caught mullet in a net yeah. and brought them up, and I put them in a bucket, yeah. and they just they tore themselves to pass. They, they just die. tore apart. What? They just tore apart. They just almost disintegrated in that hmm. over over a period of about four hours. Oh yeah. They gotta have a lot of oxygen, and mullet gotta have a. They gotta swim constantly. Okay. And uh, mullet are good. There ain't nothing like a lot of shrimp. Okay. Nothing even compared. We used to catch those up on a, a saint, uh, I'm sorry, a cast net up at um, Holden Beach. Yeah, catch those fingerling mullets. Yeah, have you ever been there to Holden Beach? No, but I understand they got some nice water trout up there in the water. They, that's a fact, they do. What beach? Holden. Holden. I know you know where it's at. Now, did you go with Pat down to Ocean Isle? Yes. Okay. All the time. I was like, not that. Where do you know the beach closer to that? I thought it was our guy. It's north of Myrtle Beach, and uh -huh. then. then what's, another, what's another name of the beach up there? Ocean, Ocean Isle. Isle. Ocean. Okay, Ocean and Isle. And like near Calabash. Yeah, it's north of Calabash. Holden Beach, Calabash. And Sunset Beach. Old Beach, he lives up there, and he goes another trout fishing. I mean, in January, in the night, and it's cold as hell. Huh? He catches these winter trout that are like four and five pounds. That's all he would say. But when we were, we had rented a, a, a cottage on the intercoastal waterway in Holden Beach. Yeah. And we spent about two months there. Yeah, and the locals would I bet you I've been in that same campground. Because <laughs> I had a friend that had a trailer down there in Holden Beach. Okay. It was a huge campground. Yeah. Well, we, That'd be the same one. We were in a cottage. We weren't. 30 years ago. We were in a cottage. We weren't camping. But at night, the locals would come up in John boats with, uh, they'd be polling, uh, and they'd come up among the piers yeah. and go under the piers, and they were gigging for flounder. Oh, man. That's something I've done very little of. But I have probably killed about 10 or 15 flounder in my time. <laughs> that's what they say in Buford. They don't gig them, they kill them. <laughs> that's just a local term. Really? I've never uh, heard we that go before. Kill, we're going to kill the flowers. Do they use us uh, like a, uh, a like pole? The okay, yeah, same thing. Okay. These um, new light systems are unbelievable. And we used to make them we get a piece of conduit and put a bend in it about two feet from one end and then put an industrial uh, glass enclosure on the other end and put a light. DC light and uh, and then put a little 12-volt uh, battery, uh, car battery, that yeah. would float along behind it in a little 
Oh, it floats? Uh -huh. Well, we put it in a little... Um, we got a walk? Yeah. And we'd tow it, and it would be behind a, what you call it, a, not a, it'd be like a little tiny boat about three feet long. Yeah. Okay. And that's how we'd tow that batter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, when I was up in New Jersey working at a uh, nuclear power plant up there, Oyster River, mm -hmm. they had, um, they had fluke. They look just like flounder, and I yeah. said, well, what's the difference? Oh, yeah. And they said the eyes are on the other side. Oh, really? Is that different? Yeah. On the flute. But other than that, to me, they look like a flounder. Oh, they're identical. The, the eyes are the different. Yeah. Both eyes on the same side. Those regular flounder, when they're small, they turn their eyes. I have heard Something that. Like I've, heard, I've that. heard that, but I didn't I know that. that. that that's nice, isn't it? Having that where you can just put that uh, right on top of that induction without it burning, like you got this. Oh on, yeah, yeah. That's on my on my gas grill, it'd be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's gas. Yeah. Although I would love to have gas. Don't, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's but faster. We don't, have, we don't have access to gas. It's fast to respond. I like it. Yeah, yeah if, I had, if we had access to gas, I'd have a nice gas. Right? Yeah, in, the, in the North Atlanta, we have uh, natural gas. So our heat and our uh, stoves are all gas. I've got one oven that's electric and one oven that's gas. Where, uh, where you live now? Yeah, about 35 miles north of downtown Atlanta, okay. Alpharetta. Well, there's people live up there. I hope everybody keeps a job up there after this election. <laughs> That's your drink of mine. That's mine. Okay. I don't... You want I don't some ice? Huh? The ice is at the bottom. I'm thing. good. It's cold. Okay. Got the fish done? So Carrie, cook this see if they're fit to eat. Carrie said we're going to sample <laughs> this one. The cook's got to sample before he serves it. That's right. Wouldn't be right. You got to cut it in half, eat skin and all, let it cool. I think you'll like it. I think so. Now I'm getting ready for my shrimp rice. Now Carrie, here. Carrie. Yes, sir. Has anybody ever filmed you before? Never in my life. Well, you're no. natural. You just, you're not <laughs> shy at that. all. I don't know about that. No, you're not shy at all. <laughs> you're the next Paula Dean. You should not never told me how you were filming. <laughs> I'm filming me. Filming me. Uh, okay. Everything's cooling down. I like this island being out here. It's real <laughs> easy to film on my stuff at home. Yeah. Everything's up against, you know, the wall, the splashboard. Just got to wait a minute to get it just right. It's yeah. got to be just right. Now, do you ever throw any uh, water off your fingertips in there? I don't want water in my grease. <laughs> I, I do that yeah. just to just elk. Just to touch it. Uh, and see, that's a good uh, indication of how hot it is. Yeah. It'll just be a few, few drops. Somebody said you could strike a match, drop a match in there when it was when it caught on fire. It was ready. Well, I don't believe you I'd heard do that. that. <laughs> no, I don't believe I'd be doing that. I don't think I would either. I can see this oil shimmering here. Mm. Well, I'm gonna cook every one of these shrimp. They all gonna take some more than something. Even more. We all ought to come over and see us, Carrie, well, at our camper. All right. I, I, I'd like to do that. We're going to be there until next Saturday. Okay. So we'll be here another week. We'll plan that. I'm going to scrimp or fish Monday with a buddy of mine out of Clemson, and um, it's going to be beautiful all week. So, yeah, we'll make a point of that. All right. Well, I'm glad you told me that you don't eat oysters, so we won't have oysters tonight you come over. I wish I had a 
wish I did. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I got so many friends that they just obsessed with them, you know. Yeah. This yeah. time of year, they, I got to have a bush of orchards. <laughs> the best orchards we've had have been in, when we get them in January, yeah. straight out of the ocean. Those are some good orchards. They then. say these orchards in Beaufort County are the best of the best. Really? It's kind of salty, they say. Well, these we had well, last. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't really know. That's these what they we, tell me. these we had last night, they were extremely salty. They were. Yeah, I've never had anything like this. But they want local. And that in Eastern North Carolina. When we would buy oysters, a lot of times we would we would get Chesapeake Chesapeake Bay oysters. Yeah, big old pretty singles. Uh, yeah, real and pretty. And that's I what I was expecting to get last night. Right now, that's I'm trying to shake all the bread off these shrimp I can. Right. And then if they were real big, I would have I would have bred them singly. Yeah. But these are nice medium shrimp. Okay. Try the fish. It might be cool now. Oh, I'll wait on you. Now I'll give you a copy of this video. <laughs> okay. So you got something to give the girls. Okay. Robin and what's the other girl's name? Jennifer. Jennifer, yeah. Mm -hmm. they've, this, been, they've been watching this uh, for, ever since they grew up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's never been on video. But then this is something they'll be watching for the next 40 years. I hope so. After you're up there singing on a harp. <laughs> Well, this is a real convenient kitchen, huh? I like this layout a lot. I, I, I love the layout of this house. I just wish it was a single story. <laughs> oh, it's two stories? Yeah. Well, ours is two story. Of course, to the basement is three. And if I forget something on the top floor, where yeah. the office is, that's drudgery to go up there. Yeah, I ain't much on stairs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, it helps keep you fit. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Always helps to have a little drink of bourbon when you cook it. Yeah. But I'm always cooking there by you go. myself. All right. You get that one, I'll get this one. Wow, that's wonderful. And this is bass. This is trout. Trout, okay. Because I hadn't had either one. Only trout I've ever had is freshwater trout. Yeah. This is uh, called a spotted sea trout. Wow. My favorite fish. That is wonderful. It's not oily tasting at all. Mmm. I may like that better than I do grouper. Hard to old grouper. Well, I gotta cut another one in half. Oh, you weren't sure about that one, huh? So you got that was only fair. <laughs> gotta sample another one. Why not? Well, I'm glad it worked out that we had fish and everything. You know? I can tell you, I'm glad I came. Uh, so glad y'all came. And I, one thing I like to do, I like to cook with my buddies. I do too. I like having a party. Yeah. 
enjoy the bounty of the good Lord, I guess you call it, wouldn't it? We used to have oyster roast at our house, and we'd invite about 25 people. My goodness, y'all had it going on, didn't you? Yeah, and I had three turkey burners then. Yeah, smoked, and, smoked up. No, just we would use them to steam the oysters, the turkey burners, turkey fryers. Okay. And put a couple of inches of water down in the bottom. Yeah. And use turkey fryers to steam them. Yeah. I got you. And, uh, you see, you can do both with that. Yeah. Gotcha. And uh, they were wonderful. We'd get about 25 people. Now, this was back 15, 20 to go. Yeah, this was back 15 years ago. And uh, oysters weren't but about $50 for 100 mm-hmm. And now, up, up here at this local, well, at an oyster factory here in town, they wanted... Uh, Hundred and fifty-five dollars for a hundred. See, three times what I was paying back twenty years ago. Here in town. Uh huh. Off of uh, Edding Edding Road or Edding Place. Yeah, I know where it is. Right over there. Yeah. There's an oyster factory out there. Yeah. Well, when Pat and I were first married back in seventy-five. I went over to a little place called, uh, thank you, I already wolfed mine down, a little place called uh, Varnum, North Carolina. What? Varnum? Varnum, V-A-R-N-O-M, and they made uh, uh, shrimp trawlers. They built them from the ground up there out of wood. And so I'd go over there and I'd get a bushel of oysters. And back in 75, a bushel of oysters was uh, $7. Really? Yeah. And they were good. Of course. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. So you could have a lot of oyster parties back then for $7. Well, I'll be quiet. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Yeah, I'm wide open. I want that fire to build as quick as it can. Yeah. I've probably got too much shrimp in there, but that's a good thing. Well, it didn't take the heat down, so that's good. That's that's what a good heavy pot will do for you. And I've been warming it up a little bit. Yeah. Think of these shrimp that don't take them very long. I used to get my girls and say, you got to stir the shrimp as you cook them. Stir them and stir them and stir them. I have never fried any shrimp. How about this? <laughs> I've, fried, right there. I've fried oysters, but never shrimp. Now, on the fish, did you use that zatarin? I did on it, but this I used the uh, um, house of oysters. Uh huh. Maybe a mixture of both. <laughs> you ever make any hush puppies out of that house of oysters? Oh yeah, yeah. I love a good hush puppy. I can't do. It. You know, if I can have somebody just do hush puppies, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I can't do both. <laughs> well, next time we come, I'll do the hush puppies. Okay. All right. Yeah, we about ready to roll. Yeah, put it in. We're going to be eating here in a minute. Please don't have me recorded. Okay. Record her. No, I won't do that. She do not want it. I can't worry about it over there. I'll give this to you then. Well, I'm not looking over there. Tell Pat to come in here. No, we're too busy. I ain't going to tell her. 
cut this about 10 seconds. I'm going to make a I'll put my timer on. 10 seconds. It's done. They don't even look good, do they? They look pretty good to me. They look like calabash to me. You ever been to Calabash? I know I asked you, but yeah, I don't they, remember. Yeah, these shrimp here are like uh, medium shrimp. Yeah. The Calabash does um, They're smaller tiny, than this. yeah. They're smaller than this. The one we caught yesterday, about a third of them were Calabash shrimp, and these are medium. What would those be, about 20 count? No, these are probably 40. 40? 40 count right here. Okay. Those small shrimp probably 50. I guess it's the uh, flower on them makes them look a little bigger. I guess so. Yeah. Popcorn shrimp. That's what I was looking yeah, for. 50 to 70. Yeah, pounds. that's what calabash we has. Use, we, buy, we catch them and we save them, but we mainly use them for bait. But I got a couple people that are actually like small shrimp for different recipes. Yeah. And, They're um, good on salads. Yeah, yeah. You can deal with them, you know. They're one, actually, the smaller shrimp have a little more flavor. Well, I never noticed that. Grab one. Got cocktail sauce over there. You want to start dipping them. But that's what I always do. They're probably not any good, are they? They're wonderful. <laughs> I'll let you do that. I got it. You sit there and eat all you want. We got plenty, haven't we? Yikes. They're still pretty hot. Yep. So, Terry, how, when did you start doing this? My mother said I couldn't afford to buy a shrimp. I figured I'd go ahead and catch them. <laughs> You'd have been about how old? 14, 15. 14. So did you have a <laughs> boat or did you go to a dock and cast net? My daddy take me to a, like a duck pond. They have some salt water to flow in there. And all that water flow in there and um, the shrimp was raised up in that duck pond. No, no kidding. Yeah, and uh, come October, November, you know, this damn shrimp is jumping in the damn pond. <laughs> I did not know that. So then I started throwing the net. I mean, we're catching like 30 count of shrimp, a whole cooler full. That's the best time to eat them right there, I think. Well, well she just start eating them if you like. I'm not oh, catching it on the camera, but I'm picking them up and dipping <laughs> them and eating them. Yeah. The ladies are going to be upset. Friend, they don't think about a minute to cook. Isn't that true? This side. Whether you're steaming them, boiling them, or frying them. I even knew a guy to eat them raw. <laughs> you got to eat them raw? Yeah, he tried to eat them raw. Who is that? Some guy from Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, I heard he was. He worked on a, he worked, he was a longshoreman down in Savannah. He'd come up. That's back, that's back years ago. He was, he'd come up with so, uh, another guy in Georgia. I had a lot of shrimp in I don't He'd come up there and get a half a kilo of shrimp or whatever. And then he, he'd go off sailing. He wouldn't come back six months. I guess we not. Right. He'd come crazy on those I know, I uncooked know. shrimp. <laughs> All right, we're done. We got to eat now. We got, let's see.
Oh, yeah, they're done. They're perfect. They're not, not tough. You know how they toughen up when they're overcooked? These are perfect. Dude, it's such salt, do it? Yeah. All right, girls, let's eat. You won't have to tell Pat twice. Enough salt. I don't usually put pepper on, but I love pepper. Well, there's some on the table over there. Yeah. Yeah. Is what? Come here, eat all. Oh, okay. Mercy. I know. That's terrible, isn't it? Oh, no, yeah. I eat it out of whatever is available. Grab you a plate. <laughs> Dig in. Ooh. Oh, my oh, I might gosh. even eat one myself. This looks wonderful. Oh, we did. What we Pat, that with? fish is unbelievable because we don't it's usually get we, we, we don't it. usually get good fish. Okay. And that is unbelievable. All right. Well, come around this way. Look at that way, Pat. Okay. Those shrimp just come out the grease right there. All right. Out the grease. Now, get your whole hand full. <laughs> Carrie, I'm going to go last because I'm yeah. filling. I saw I'm going to burn stand. my hands. Yeah. Oh, Carrie doesn't believe in utensils. That's fun. This looks wonderful. Now, I saw him flipping oh, that yeah. shrimp in that frying pan with a utensil. So. I can't. I can't. Same thing, just get you a bunch of them. Carrie said y'all were going to come over and eat with us one night. He did? He did. Okay. Now, if you don't want to come, he can come by and he's welcome to come by himself. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> so what did you tell him we were going to yeah, have? I told him, well, I told him, I told him we are going to have turkey. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't. No, no, I go ahead. I'm, I'm yeah. watching this bread yeah, right here. We, I, we can't have long. oysters because Carrie doesn't need oysters, so we'll oh. have shrimp. Oh my gosh. He got some bad oysters one time. Okay. They, he was like 12 years old. They were Yankee oysters. Y'all go ahead. Like Benji, go ahead because yeah. I'm watching this bread. Okay. All right. I'm going to um, get some of this shrimp here. Yeah, you can have it. That's good, Harry. That's good. I'm not promising it's very good coleslaw. You just made it. I'll be good. Ben, your turn. I'm you go ahead, ahead, Carrie. I'm going to film it. Debbie, I'm going to give you all a copy of this so you can share it with the girls. <laughs> Believe me, it's not something they haven't seen before. <laughs> I know, but it'll be something that'll Save be to, with them. Say to posterity, right? Yeah. yeah. You tell them that. <laughs> oh, that looks wonderful. Well, I wanted hush puppies. That evidently, they don't make frozen okay. hush puppies anymore. Okay. I didn't know they ever made them. Yeah. I told him next time, next year, when we do this, that I'll do the crush puppies. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. you want some water? Pat, you need to get an oil on this fish. What? Pat, if you want to, you can eat skin and oil on it. I'm good. Don't bother her. She's busy. <laughs> Did you say you want some water? Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Please don't record my voice. Okay. I don't have any way to block that, <laughs> but I won't put it on anywhere. How's that? Who wants some water? Me. <laughs> you have a nice voice, Debbie. I'd like some water. Carrie, you need some water. We'll all have water. I have a nasally voice. Excuse no, me. you do not. I'm going to argue with you. I know I'm a guest, but... Where's your plate, 
Go fix your plate. No, I'm filming this. I'll get it last. I'm waiting on the bread. He's got me jacked up here on this maker's mark. <laughs> Isn't that fish good, Pat? That fish is the best fish I've had. In Have you been eating fish too? Not no, fish no. Carrie, wouldn't, Carrie wouldn't let us sample any of the fish. <laughs> <laughs> then you can say that this everything is good. Oh my gosh, I'm starving to death. Yes. Yeah, so. No. You have to really love fish and seafood. You are so welcome. It looks like he's going to sit here. Oh, <laughs> right, your turn, Ben. I don't think Debbie's gone yet. No, I'm watching the bread. The bread's my favorite part. I thought you got the bread out. No, it hasn't. Do you ever cook any bread? No, never. I make sourdough, but that's just what I need to do is make homemade bread for me to then, eat every day. Then when I got, I got ambitious one day and I put the starter in the oven to help it rise, and I forgot to tell Pat, and she flipped the oven on and it killed my starter. Carrie, that's an excellent, excellent dinner there. I hope y'all enjoy it. Oh, gosh. I'm going to give a pat. There's no husband about hunting it. Calabash doesn't even come in on this. Look up here, Pat. See what you think. You got your cheek stuffed like a squirrel. Huh? Um, no. Yeah. That would be a no. Yeah. Well, I can't hear you with all that, all that fish oh, and shrimp. Oh, that's so good, Carrie. Thank you. Wow. You tell the difference. Yeah. You tell the difference in the fish. Absolutely. The bath is more firmer. So. Yeah. Oh, my God.